MagSafe battery pack teardown confirms dual cell design plus mm -hmm. plenty of heat shielding. Is this, this isn't even iFixit that did it? No, it's oh, uh, Charger Lab. Charger Lab beats iFixit to the punch. That's fine. I guess there's many. Look at the way this guy's frame is set up on his video, Will. You see that? Mm. The caliper is there. Yeah, it creates direction. Yeah, the sort he, of he, triangle he, look. <laughs> he has created a pyramid. Yes. Shape, and then his hands and the battery pack go in the center. But it also makes the case that he that that this individual is tech savvy and prepared to do what is necessary. You got mm -hmm. the sp the metal spudger tool on the left. Yeah, he's ready to get down and dirty. You're very confident in this guy's abilities here. And he uses all the tools, you know. That's fantastic. And chapters as well. Yes. It's an eight-minute video with chapters. Uh -huh. How impressive is that? Hey, YouTube recently launched an auto chapters feature, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's going to attempt to yeah. algorithmically figure out the different segments in a video. So they make their own titles, too? I guess so. I haven't seen Whoa. it happen yet. There's a checkbox when you go to upload a video that says, do you want to allow for auto chapters? But I haven't actually seen it pop up on any one of our videos yet. Anyway, so here's he, a dual battery. Yeah, he does here. Mm. And uh, let's see. So each battery is 3.82 volts, mm -hmm. um, which is combined of 7.262. And the uh, milliamp capacity is 1460. 1460. So not quite a fill up on your iPhone. Mm -hmm. Just a little boost. It's an interesting. Sure. It's an interesting choice. The dual cell allows it to charge up faster. I presume. I guess well. so. Yeah. Teardown of Apple's new $99 MagSafe battery pack gives us a look inside but also a look at the NFC circuitry and mm -hmm. heat shielding within. Yeah, heat. You're always wondering about heat with these types of devices. Scroll down a little further. Um, 1460 milliamp hour compared directly with the battery capacity of the iPhone. Uh, yeah, what is the iPhone battery capacity? I guess it's around 2,000 on the regular iPhone 12. I'm just curious how much of a refill you're going to get here. Oh, wait, wait. I'm way off on that. Oh, that's the Pro Max. 20, uh, oh, well, the 12. 12 and 12 Pro is 28, 15. Mm -hmm. And then the Pro Max is 36, 87. So it's like half. Mm -hmm. Half a fill. And, and they never work that efficiently. So probably a little less than half. What do you think about that? I mean, I know it sticks to the back, and so you're not really hoping for an enormous uh, capacity as far as uh -huh. a power bank is concerned because it you want to use the phone while it's on there. But is that – are you happy with this, Will? Not really. If it, I mean, it's good for a top-up, Yeah. you know. Um, but I figured the battery that size should house a bigger battery. Cause, but it has so much other tech in there. Did you see all those magnets and stuff when they took it off? I guess that's the... <laughs> magnet. Didn't you see they that? They don't need that many magnets. Look at all the those magnets. The magnet ring? Yeah, man. Yeah, that, they're, they're, I hear you. There's some depth to those. Those are the strong ones. Neodymium or whatever they're called. Right. Well... See, in a normal manufacturer, which you would just plug in over USB, there's, there's a little less activity going on inside of there so the battery can be a bigger portion mm -hmm. of the overall design but this is about convenience this is about slapping it on the back this is about not carrying a cable mm -hmm. and and being all mag safe style so yeah i think there's a lot of people going to throw this in the bag and just have it sure i can see that but there's definitely if capacity is your thing just go buy some anchor stuff and recharge your phone 10 times if you really want to there you go.